21 Sundays. It's been 21 weeks since we last gathered in person for worship and in person for many other ministries here on our campus at the corner of Peachtree and 16th Streets. 21 weeks is a long time. We miss the chapel and sanctuary and Fifield Hall. We miss our fellowship and our small groups. We miss hallway conversations and the gift of community. We miss volunteering, we miss Sunday school, and we even miss our committee meetings. And while there are many losses to grieve, we as a congregation have not strayed from our mission to humbly follow Jesus Christ. We have offered pastoral care on the phone, on back porches and in driveways. We've been encouraged by daily devotionals. We've continued our community ministries, serving over 1,000 of our most vulnerable neighbors each month. We've shared conversations about racial justice through the 21-day Race Equity Challenge and our ongoing dinner and dialogue series. We've grown in faith and understanding through virtual small groups and classes for all ages. We have connected with our global partners in prayer, fellowship, and study online. We've worshiped together with an average of 1,000 people tuning in every week since Easter Sunday and over 10,000 people participating via AIB television, WSB radio, and our on-demand services. We've been strengthened by our congregation's financial support that, among many things, has allowed us to pay our entire staff since the middle of March. Even in a very difficult time, we are still able to echo the words of the psalmist, the Lord has done great things and we rejoice. While we were hoping to gather for worship in person on Sunday, August 2nd, the rise in COVID-19 case numbers in our state and local areas has caused us to reevaluate that plan. Following the recommendation of our capable task force for campus operations, the session decided to delay our return to in-person worship and most other on-campus ministries. The task force will revisit this decision at the beginning of October. So what does this mean? It means that we will continue to offer live stream worship at 11 a.m. every Sunday. We will also offer an additional live stream service at 8.30 a.m. every Sunday beginning August 23rd, broadcast from Fifield Hall. We will offer a robust lineup of online opportunities for Sunday school, small groups, children and youth and young adult ministries also beginning on August 23rd. We will implement a reservation system for church groups of up to 12 people to gather outdoors in our gardens, maintaining social distance and wearing masks. We will take reservations for 30 minute blocks of time for individuals or households to sit in our chapel or sanctuary for prayer and reflection. We are also working out details for small pop-up prayer services in our gardens as well. In addition, we will host the weddings already scheduled through 2020, but with attendance reduced to 30 people, including the bridal party socially distant seating, and masks required. The bridal party will not be required to wear masks in a sanctuary, but additional guests will be required except for photos. We will work with families who want to have a funeral during this time, allowing for internments in a memorial garden and sanctuary services with a 30-person attendance target, mask requirements, and socially distanced seating. Our community ministries will continue to use Fifield Hall on weekday afternoons and will continue to follow health and safety protocols. First Presbyterian Preschool plans to open as scheduled on August 24th and our Parents Morning Out program soon thereafter in early September. Both programs have set new operating procedures following CDC and state guidelines to keep children and their teachers safe and well. To preserve all our health, we will ask that no one come to the campus, including the gardens, if you have a fever or other COVID-19 symptoms 
or if you have tested positive or been exposed to someone who is COVID-19 positive in a 14-day period. We will require that anyone over four years of age who enters the building wear a mask and maintain six feet of space from anyone who isn't in your household. While this is not the late summer or fall we envisioned, these opportunities will help us continue to be the church for one another, to be the church for the city, and to be the church for the world. Please be safe, wear your mask, pray for your church, and know that we are praying for you.